Welcome to another RV showcase here at Moore's RV. We have some great passports to show you today and we're gonna get started right here on the 2870 RL. One of the first things I want you to notice right up front is this nice, big, beautiful front cap. I mean, this thing looks great behind your towing vehicle. It looks great going down, that, going down the road. And this nice, big front cap is gonna keep your unit protected. So not only does it look good, but it's gonna keep your unit looking good all year round. You got your nice, big uh, power tongue jack here, so you don't have to worry about cranking this RV up to put it on your unit. Another awesome feature, we got a nice battery disconnect. So if we wanna disconnect the battery so we don't drain the juice, we can do it very easily with that battery disconnect. Nice big pass-through storage here, so as you can tell, plenty of room for our gear, for our goodies, anything that we need to bring. Nice big pass-through storage, nice big door to, to put it through, and then you also notice it connects with a magnet and I love having the magnet more than those clips because it's just easy to use. You don't have to worry about breaking those clips over and over again, and it's just really functional. So this Passport is a fiberglass RV. It's flat, so it's gonna be easy to keep clean. So all you're gonna need is, you know, some dish soap and a rag, and you can keep this baby looking clean all year round and as long as you own it. So you don't have to worry about those cracks and those crevices like you do in aluminum sided RVs that make it a little harder to clean. So that's definitely a plus with the fiberglass units. You notice we have our outdoor speakers. So we'd be jamming our favorite music, listening to our favorite radio station, um, listening to the game, the race, whatever the case is, we have our outdoor speakers so we can do that. Nice big LED awning light. We actually have two of them because we actually get two awnings with this. So here we got an awning on the slide. We get an awning, you know, two awnings essentially. And look at this. We also have some LED awning lights on the arms of our awning. So if you're worried about it being dark under this awning at night, not gonna happen. They give you the nice lights on the side. We have the LED awning lights up top. So we have a lot of awning space here. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess that's probably a good like 22 feet in awning space. So a lot of room to hang out, to have some fun at the campground. Before we jump inside, you'll notice we have our three steps, the step above system here, which makes it feel nice going in, you know? Feel the unit shaking, it feels nice and sturdy. We have the nice big grab handle so we can get in and out of our unit very easily. So I like having the nice steps with the nice big grab handle. The weight on this RV is 6860, so just under 6,900 pounds. So not too heavy, um, but let's jump inside and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside of this unit. You're gonna notice that we have a nice big, comfortable couch right here in the back. We got our sofa sleeper. We have our TV here, so we have nice viewing angles to the TV. So we just got a nice little setup. We got our electric fireplace, which does kick out heat. So if you want to you know, do some cold weather camping, some camping in the fall, then you can do that and get the chill out of the air just by using that electric fireplace. So that's definitely a plus there. Again, we have the sofa sleeper. This is a trifold sofa sleeper. So what that means is it's gonna open into more of like a queen size bed. So you're gonna get a nice big bed here. Typically you can fit two adults on that queen once you pull it out. So if you have some friends, some family, some grandkids that wanna come visit, you have a nice big extra sleeping room Forum in the trifold sofa. We also have our theater seating recliners directly across from our television. So just a nice setup. Okay, we got great viewing angles. We have enough couches and chairs. We got the recliners here as well so we can get comfortable while we're watching TV. So just a beautiful setup. Like I said, we can conversate, we can have fun, we can have some friends over, and we can have a good time at the campground, okay? 
But notice a nice big pantry here. So check that out. We have plenty of room for our food, for our goodies. You know, whatever we're bringing, we got the nice big pantry to take care of it, okay? We have our seamless countertops here. Nice big kitchen island. I love how they give us this nice big sink cover. So you can even use one side as a cutting board, serving board. Use the other side as a sink cover. So when we're not using our sink, we can get more counter space. When we are using our sink, we have a cutting board, we have a serving board. So I definitely like that setup there. And in addition, that's a nice big sink so we can fit our pots, our pans, you know, whatever we need to clean, we can do it here in this sink. So I want to thank everybody for being here at the Moore's RV Showcase. We do these every Saturday on our Facebook page. So hop over to Facebook, type in Moore's RV, and go give us a like if you haven't already done so. That way you can be here with us weekly at our RV Showcase. If you want to get some of our pricing for these units, we actually can't tell you what they are on this stream because our pricing is so low, our manufacturers don't let us advertise our pricing. So the only way to get the pricing of our RVs is to go to mooresrv.com. You click on the get lowest price button. So find the RV that you like, click on the get lowest price button, fill out your name, email, and phone number. Once you do that, click submit. Once you submit it, our lowest price will pop up on your screen and it'll also email you a copy. If you want to give us a call and speak to a human, then just give us a call 800-523-1904. Speak with an RV consultant and they can get you our lowest pricing. They can get you trade numbers and they can answer any questions that you may have. So again, hop on Facebook, give us a like, Moore's RV. That way you can be here for every RV showcase on Saturday or give us a call 800-523-1904 or go to mooresrv.com and click that get lowest price button. Let's get back to the passport. All right, so you'll notice we also have some extra counter space here in the kitchen. So we also have an outlet back here. So maybe for a crock pot or a coffee pot, we have nice big full extension drawers here. And I like the handles and the hardware that they use. It kind of makes it look real sleek and real modern. So I do like the handles that they used on these cabinets. We got the glass stove top cover, three stove top burner, and then we also have the oven as well. So if you do some oven cooking, you can do it in this unit. If not, no big deal, but you have it there anyway. If we're not using the stove top, we bring that glass down and now we have um, a glass cover. Okay, so we got a nice big fridge and freezer combo here. Plenty of room for our food, for our drinks, for our goodies. So I mean, you gotta love having that nice big fridge and freezer combo because the more food you can fit in your fridge and in your freezer, that means the less time we're traveling back and forth to the convenience store or to the grocery store or whatever the case is so that you, know, you have to keep leaving the campground, right? So if we have the bigger fridge, we pack more food in there and we can stay camping longer. So I love having that nice big fridge. You also notice we have our appliance bar over here as well. So even some more outlets, you got two more outlets, outlets over there. So for crock pots, coffee pots, air fryers, whatever we need, we got some outlets for it. And we also have some counter space. You'll notice here, I love the glass inserts inside of the, inside of the cabinets as well. Okay, and then we have a good amount of storage. So a decent amount of storage here, a lot of counter space. I love the kitchen island. I mean, we just got a nice big floor plan here. We got the opposing slides, which gives us a lot of floor space. And then we have the freestanding dinette and chairs. So, I mean, this floor plan is definitely set up, um, you know, what you would say, like a couple's coach or something like that. But it's nice because you get that nice big queen sleeper in the sofa. All right, so let's check out the bathroom. Nice big bathroom. This is a nice big shower. I'm 5'9", 5'10". 
I don't know, that's probably 14 inches of head space or something like that. So we got a lot of room in the shower. We got the removable shower head here, which will make it easy to take a shower nice and high so it'll hit us on the top of the head instead of in the chest or something like that. And then we have this nice little shower curtain. So check that out. That's definitely nice. I like um, that'll keep the water out of your unit and that's very easy to use pulls itself right back in so i like the shower curtain we got a good sized bathroom here let's check out the storage Ooh, nice storage we got you know one two three four five shelves here so plenty of room for our towels our you know shampoo toothbrush toothpaste whatever we're bringing we definitely got some room in this bathroom for it there's an outlet in here as well so if we're getting ready um, we can have the hair dryer or you know whatever the case is so we got everything we need in the bathroom you know, again, I kind of like these doors. You know, it's not just a plain door. You get, you know, some style. You get some pizzazz there with that door. I think it looks good. It feels nice and solid when I open and close it as well. So just a very solid build quality here in the Passport. All right, here we are in the master bedroom. And we got a nice size bedroom. We got some hanging space on either side of the bed there. You'll notice we have our nightstands and underneath we also have an outlet and a USB charger. So if we're charging phones, iPads, maybe we have a CPAP machine, whatever the case is, we can plug it in on either side of the bed. So that's always a plus there. You'll also notice we have this little storage closet. So check out this nice little storage closet. Pretty cool little added storage closet there nice big spot for a television here so if we do some television watching at night then we can do it in our bedroom great viewing angles to the tv nice big rv queen nice storage and again i love the glass inserts and just how modern everything looks with the handles and the colors that they used so i'm really impressed here with this passport great floor plan if you're looking for a couple's coach under 6700 pounds this might be a floor plan for you All right, the next passport we're going to take a look at is the 221BH. This baby weighs in. At 5160. 5160 is what this unit weighs in, so just under 5,200 pounds. And a great floor plan. You'll notice right outside we have our outdoor kitchen. So we have our two stove top burner here. We have our mini fridge for our drinks, for our goodies. So we don't have to send people into our RV to get drinks. Hey, you got the fridge right here. You got some burgers on the stove top. Grab your food, grab your drinks. Don't get the dirt and the leaves in my unit. So I love having the outdoor kitchen. We have a nice big awning here. I'm gonna guess that's a good 15 to 17 foot awning. So we have a nice big awning. We have our LED awning lights. We have our outdoor speaker, so we can be listening to our favorite music, the race, the game, whatever we want to listen to, we can do it on the outside of this RV. Probably my favorite thing at the campground, relaxing, listening to some good music under the awning, playing some cornhole. So to me, I love them outdoor speakers. you notice we can also bring a television outside, so if you do want to bring a TV out and, and watch the race or some cartoons or you know whatever you want to watch, you can do it on the outside of this Passport. All right, so we'll also notice up front, we have a nice big pass-through storage here. So, you know, plenty of room for our gear, for our goodies, anything that we need to bring, we got some room for it. So, great floor plan. We got a lot of cool amenities outside. Let's hop inside and see what this thing looks like.
All right, here we are inside of the 221. We'll start back here at the bunk house. You'll notice nice big double bunk. So plenty of room for, you know, our kids or adults, you know, whoever needs the bunk house, nice big beds for them. So I like having the double bunk. You'll notice here that we do have some extra storage space. So we have that door that goes out to the back. So maybe we have bicycles or we have something long that, you know, we want to carry in our unit. Then we can flip that bed up, just like I showed you, and pack stuff from that back door. Lay it on the ground, whatever the case is. So it's nice having that door because we can bring some extra stuff and we can almost use our unit for a little bit of storage where you can't do that with every RV. So I like that added door. Jump into the bathroom here. All right, we got a good sized bathroom. Again, I'm five nine, roughly somewhere around there. Got about four inches of head space, so not a little shorter than the other shower you're in, but still a pretty good size. Same style shower curtain. I do like that shower curtain. It's gonna do very good at keeping water out of your RV, which, which is what is important. So we got a good size shower. I mean, we got our medicine cabinet. You know, basically everything we need in a bathroom, right? So we got a little bit of storage for our towels, our stuff, our toothpaste, medicine cabinet, shower. You know, what more could you ask for, right? So as soon as we come out of the bathroom, you'll notice we have a nice big storage compartment here. We can use this as hanging space or we can use it as shelving. So you'll see this is a removable shelf. If we want to use the hanging space, we remove the shelf. If we don't, we leave the shelf in. We have a nice little pantry storage. All right. So same kind of deal down here. Again, we have the removable storage. If you want to use it as kind of a two shelf system, you can. If not, you know, you can pull that shelf out and have a nice big storage compartment. So I like the functionality of being able to, you know, kind of customize your storage the way you need it to be. So I like having those removable shelves. You see we have our U-Booth dinette here and we kind of have it as a bed to give you an idea of what this baby will look like when you turn it into a bed. Typically can fit one, two adults on this sofa. It's the nice big U-Booth. So it's easy to fit more people on the U-Booth than some of the smaller dinettes. All right. Next, we're gonna look at the kitchen here. You'll see you have this nice counter extension. So if you need some more counter space, you can get a little bit more just by popping open that counter extension. you also notice we have a nice big sink here. So plenty of room for our pots, our pans, our cups, our bowls, you know, whatever we need to wash, we can do it here in this nice big sink. We got a little bit of counter space back here. Okay, so we got a little bit of room to prep our food, to prep our goodies. Uh, for what room we don't have in the counter, we have the stovetop cover here, so we can still use the stovetop if we need a little bit more counter space. We do got the oven, so if you do some oven cooking in your RV, you can do it here in this Passport. And then you also have the nice big fridge and freezer combo. So check that out, nice big fridge freezer combo. This does run off of propane and electric. So, you know, one cool thing you can do here, pack up your drinks before you go into the campground, turn on your propane, and you can get those drinks cold as you're traveling to the campground. So I love that little feature there. You notice we have our TV right above our U-Booth dinette, okay? And we do have it on a swivel mount. So if you wanna pull this out, and get you know different angles or whatever the case may be then we can move that out and get better viewing angles so i like that they added the swivel mount there to the television it definitely adds some more functionality whether you know you're in your dinette or maybe we're watching television from our sofa it definitely adds that extra you know versatility so um, the next thing we're going to take a look at the murphy bed which i love murphy beds this is a 22 foot unit Okay, but we still have our bunk, we still have a sofa, we have a nice big U-Booth dinette, a nice deep slide. And if we didn't have a Murphy bed, we wouldn't be able to have all of these things. So that's why I love Murphy beds. They allow us to still have the sofa and still have everything that we want in an RV while still giving us a full-size RV queen sleeper. So it's very easy to use. All we're gonna do is we're gonna jackknife that sofa 
Okay, we're gonna pull out this, this latch here. And then you'll see, here comes our full-size RV queen. So when it's time to go to sleep, we pull down our Murphy bed. We have a very comfortable RV queen here. When we're not sleeping and maybe we're having fun for the day, all we have to do is pop this Murphy bed back up. Okay, lock your latch, jackknife your sofa back up, and now we have a place to conversate. So, you know, again, I love having that Murphy bed because it allows me to have a sofa. It allows me to have a master bed. It allows me to have a U-Booth dinette and a double bunk all in a 22 foot floor plan with a little less weight. So it's definitely a plus if you're looking for a smaller, you know, lengthwise unit, but you still need some extra sleeping space. This floor plan is a great one to take a look at. All right, that was the Passport 221BH. The first unit we looked at was the Passport 2870RL. Both great floor plans. So if you're looking for an RV for this next upcoming season, then do yourself a favor. Go to mooresrv.com. Find the floor plan that you're interested in. Once you find that floor plan, click on our Get Lowest Price button. Then you're gonna fill out your name, email, and phone number. Click submit, and then our lowest price will pop up on your screen. It'll also email you a copy. You might be surprised at the pricing that we have here at Moore's RV, and that's why they won't even let us tell you what they are on this live stream. So again, go to mooresrv.com, find the RV that you're interested in, click on our get lowest price button, fill out your name, email, phone number, hit submit, and our lowest price will pop up on your screen and email you a copy. If you wanna speak with a human, if you wanna speak with one of our RV consultants, then just give us a call, 800-523-1904. Speak with one of our RV consultants and they can answer any questions you may have, they can get you trade numbers, and they can help you find the RV that's gonna meet you and your family and your friends need for this upcoming camping season. Again, thank you for being here with Moore's RV at the RV Showcase. We do these every Saturday from our Facebook page, so make sure you go to Facebook, type Moore's RV, give us a like if you haven't already done so. That way you can be with us for the next RV Showcase next Saturday. We'll see you then.